Hello everyone, myself Sai Prasad, a lecturer in Akhlabath High School at the Junior College. Welcome to the series of the lectures of Intermediate First Year Maths A. We started our discussion with Principle of Mathematical Induction. What did we learn in this? In that chapter, we did two problems in which we discussed the three steps. That is the first step will be substituting n is equal to 1 and we have to prove for n is equal to 1. And in the next step, we will assume that the p of n is true for n equal to k. Third step, we have to prove that p of n is true for n is equal to 1, right? With the reference of the all three, we will prove that p of n is true for all of n, okay? Shall we do few more problems of uh, same question? Fine, see here. The next question given here it is, he is asking us to show that 1 by 1 into 4 plus 1 by 4 into 7 plus 1 by 7 into 10 and so on up to n terms is equal to n by 3 n plus 1 right is it similar to the last problem yes right but the only difference is whatever the terms we have it was only in the numerator right here we have everything in terms of fractions okay fine what is the first step we have to do we have to segregate these terms as two different ap's 1 4 7 and so on for one ap 4 7 10 and and so on as second AP, right? What is the first term here? 1. What is the first term here? 4. What is the common difference? 4 minus 1 is 3. This is D. What is the common difference here? 7 minus 4 that is 3. Okay. What is the nth term? A plus N minus 1 into D. Here also A N is A plus N minus 1 into D. Okay. Now here 1 plus n minus 1 into 3 here 4 plus n minus 1 into 3 that is 1 plus 3 into n is 3n minus 3 into 1 is 3 1 minus 3 is minus 2 here 4 plus 3n minus 3 that is 3n plus 1 okay therefore what is my nth term tell me both are in the denominator right this into this 3n minus 2 into 3n plus 1 okay now what is the first step we are going to do we will assume let p of n be 1 by 1 into 4 plus 1 by 4 into 7 and so on up to 1 by 3n minus 2 into 3n plus 1 that is equal to n by 3 n plus 1 is it right fine what is the first step now step 1 will be put n is equal to 1 now tell me what is LHS 1 by 3 into 1 is 3 minus 2 into 3 plus 1 3 minus 2 is how much is it 3 minus 2 that is 1 into 3 plus 1 is 4 that is equal to 1 by 4 what is RHS? That is 1 by 3 plus 1. That is 1 by 4. Both are same, right? Therefore, P of n is true for n equal to 1. This will be my first statement. Okay. Now, what will be the second statement? That is, we have to assume assume p of n is true for n equal to k yes that is p of k is equal to 1 by 1 into 4 plus 1 by 4 into 7 and so on up to how what is nth term 1 by 3k minus 2 into 3k plus 1 3k minus 2 into 3k plus 1 that is equal to k by 3k plus 1 this is my second statement is it fine and the next what is the third step which is very important and which is very confusing to solve isn't it that is we show that p of n is true for n equal to k plus 1 isn't it? Just substitute the value of P of uh, K plus 1. What is that we have to do? Tell me. I know that this whole term is P of K and the next term is 
substituting k plus 1 in this term right just substitute k plus 1 here what is that you are going to get 3k plus 3 minus 2 into 3k plus 3 plus 1 plus this will be as it is this you already know right yes or no now just see here 3 minus 2 is 1 therefore this becomes as 3k plus 1 into here 3k plus 4 3k plus 4 plus here k by 3k plus 1 okay now take the lcm for 3k plus 1 that will be lcm is 3k plus 1 into 3k plus 4 here in the numerator what will be the thing this both things we have written here the left out is 1 plus k into 3k plus 4 that is 1 plus k into 3k is 3k square plus 4 into k 4k divided by 3k plus 1 into 3k plus 4 ok. Now can we solve this 3k square plus 4k plus 1 we can factorize it right now simplify it 3k square plus 4k can be written as 3k plus k plus 1 by 3k plus 1 into 3k plus 4 right can I take 3k common from the first two terms yes right that will be 3k into k plus 1 plus 1 into k plus 1 divided by 3k plus 1 into 3k plus 4 now again k plus 1 take it as common you will be left with 3k plus 1 divided by 3k plus 1 into 3k plus 4 these both will get cancelled what is left k plus 1 divided by can I write 4 as 3 plus 1 so we can take it as k plus 1 as common plus 1 right is it not same as in the question yes right fine therefore p of n is true for n equal to k plus 1 therefore from 1 2 3 p of n is true for all n belongs to n is it right is this question easy we are solving different different varieties of problems we started with the single term we started with the two terms and then we solved by taking two terms in the denominator ok now let us move to the next variety of the problem till now whatever the varieties which we saw those were always numbers right now what uh, the question which we are going to solve is only variable term right this kind of uh, question is very popular however you know that till now we used the formula of AP now we are going to prove the statement of AP that is a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d and so on up to a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d right this is my nth term and this is my sum of n terms right this question we have to prove now this is very easy to solve and very important ok fine uh, when we consider the base uh, when we consider it as the basic statement fine a n is given yes ok that is what is the first step of my proof that is let p of n be a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d and so on up to a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d fine what is my first step now step 1 is put n is equal to 1 ok that is LHS is a plus 1 minus 1 into d that is a plus 0 d that is equal to a ok what is RHS RHS is 1 by 2 into 2 a plus 1 minus 1 into d plus half into 2 a 0 2 2 cancel the left is a because this will be 0 d fine LHS is equal to RHS yes right therefore P of n is true for n is equal to 1 ok and what is the next step step 2 however we know that that is assumption what is that we have to assume that this statement is 
true for n is equal to k ok that is assume p of n is true for n is equal to k that is p of k is equal to a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d and so on up to a plus k minus 1 into d is equal to k by 2 into 2a plus k minus 1 into d is it not right fine this is this will be my second statement what is my third statement that is step 3 will be now we show that p of n is true for n equal to k plus 1 ok p of k plus 1 the term what is it right just k plus 1 the term of this nth term that will be a plus instead of k we have to write it as k plus 1 minus 1 into d plus this is k by 2 into 2a plus k minus 1 into d ok now plus 1 minus 1 will get cancelled kd here k by 2 into 2a plus k minus 1 into d ok now let us take lcm and uh, let us simplify what do we get ok now see here here lcm is 2 multiply 2 to here 2a plus 2kd 2a plus 2kd plus k into 2a plus k minus 1 into d that is k into 2a plus k minus 1 into d fine ok now let us write it 2a plus 2kd plus 2ak plus k into k minus 1 into d whole divided by 2 ok if you observe here 2a plus 2ak can I take as 2a common I will get it as k plus 1 ok and then here kd kd common I will get it as 2 plus k minus 1 whole divided by 2 again now here 2a into k plus 1 plus here kd into 2 minus 1 is plus 1 divided by 2 can I take k plus 1 common yes right therefore that will be k plus instead of k can I write it as k plus 1 minus 1 yes right yes or no therefore this is not the same as this question k plus 1 by 2 2a plus k plus 1 minus 1 into d yes fine therefore p of n is true for n is equal to k plus 1 therefore p of n is true for all n belongs to n is it not right even it is a variable kind of question we can uh, solve a bit isn't it shall we go to the next problem let's do this is one more variety of the question till now we have seen the questions with the mathematical statements in this we are going to have a simple uh, given statement that is this is a generalized statement where this is a term which is always divisible by 64 right how do we prove the same step whatever we do we have to assume p of n as 49 power n plus 16 n minus 1 is divisible by 64 ok now step 1 is put n is equal to 1 ok now let us write only LHS that is 49 power 1 plus 16 into 1 minus 1 ok 49 plus 16 that is 65 minus 1 therefore this is 64 yes therefore p of n is true for n is equal to 1 ok what is the next step step 2 is assumption assume p of n is true for n is equal to k is it fine that is p of k is equal to 49 power k plus 16 k minus 1 that is equal to 64 k 
right because that is divisible by 64 just write this just remember this okay or else you can let us write one more statement is divisible by 64 therefore from this we can write it as 49 power k plus 16 k minus 1 is equal to 64 64 into some number let us say some m okay 64 into something right fine from this can i write it as 49 power k is equal to 64 m minus 16 k plus 1 yes right fine now let us write the next step that is now we show that p of n is true for n equal to k plus 1 okay that is okay let us write it here p of k plus 1 is equal to we have to substitute n equal to k plus 1 here that will be 49 power k plus 1 plus 16 into k plus 1 minus 1 okay let us multiply each and every term this can i write 49 power k plus 1 as 49 into 49 yes right then let us multiply these both 16 k plus 16 minus 1 what is 49 power k just tell me that is 64 m minus 16 k plus 1 that is 64 m minus 16 k plus 1 into 49 plus 16 k plus 16 minus 1 is 15 is it right let us multiply each and every term now that is 64 m into 49 minus 16 k into 49 plus 49 plus 16 k plus 15 is it okay now let us take uh, 64 m into 49 as it is i mean 64 m into 49 minus k terms can i take 16 k common here yes right if i take 16 k common here it is 1 minus 49 that is minus 48 plus 49 plus 15 now tell me 64 m into 49 minus uh, can i write uh, this 16 into 48 uh, if i want to write the whole thing in terms of 64 right can i write it as 64 into 16 what's a 64 16 fours are right what is left and the next that is 12k is left plus 49 plus 15 is again 64. Now just take 64 common 64 into 49m minus 12k plus 1 therefore 64 into something yes right from this therefore p of n is true for n equal to k plus 1 therefore p of n is true for all n belongs to n is it right is it not easy yes right fine these are the variety variety of problems of mathematical induction let us meet in the next session with the more problems of mathematical induction thank you